The Pali word for meditation means to develop. In other words, we're developing good qualities in the mind. We want to be more mindful, we want to be more alert, more concentrated. For these things to develop, it requires another quality called ardency. In other words, you really want to do this well. You've got a task and you want to do it as well as you can. So with the breath, you want to be with the breath as consistently as you can. If you find the mind has wandered off at all, just drop whatever the, the distraction is and you'll be right back at the breath. While you're with the breath, try to make it as comfortable and interesting as possible. So you want to stay here. Try to be as sensitive as you can to what's going on. Because the more sensitive you are to the breath, then the more the breath is going to improve. And both the body and the mind will benefit. So those are the qualities we want to develop. And there's also the motivation. We want to do this because we want true happiness. That's something that's always in the back of the mind. We've had all kinds of other happiness. Happiness that comes and goes, happiness that actually causes trouble. Now we want something that doesn't cause trouble, that doesn't come and go. It's something that's there. And so you use that as your measuring stick when you get results from the meditation. How is the mind? Not just in terms of how is it having special experiences during the meditation, but what are the overall effects? Sometimes this is hard to gauge because the, ch the changes are small. One of the Buddha's ex analogies is of a hammer. You use a hammer day after day after day, and you know that the handle is wearing down. You don't see it wearing down, but you have a sense that it is wearing down. So in some cases the, the results should, are going to be hard to see. But in other cases, it should be a little bit more obvious that you're less likely to flare up over something, or you're less likely to suffer from something that you used to suffer from. The mind is able to think a lot more clearly about how to deal with situations. And that's a sign that the meditation is progressing, that you really are developing. So the results should come not only where you're sitting here when you're with your eyes closed, but also as you're going around, engaged in the day. And for the results to really become more and more apparent, you want to keep with the techniques of the meditation even while you're moving around. In other words, this is not just something you do while you're sitting here with your eyes closed, but as you move around you want to be sensitive to the breath. You want to notice when any unusual tension comes up in any part of the body. You may have your trigger points that you know when anger comes you may feel a certain tightness in the stomach or in the chest. Well, keep your awareness focused there as you go through the day if you know that anger is a problem. And as soon as that you feel that tightness coming, breathe through it. Make that your knee-jerk reaction instead of the knee-jerk reaction of yelling at somebody or getting upset. And see how that changes the balance of power in your life, the balance of power in that committee of the mind. So you can get the healthy members, the wise members, in charge throughout the day. That's when you know that your meditation is progressing.